Well, good afternoon and welcome everyone. Today's review has now brought us here for an extremely special and very exclusive up close and personal encounter with the all new, completely rejuvenated and highly technologically refreshed 2015 Audi A3 2.0 Turbo Quattro. Now our particular example today has been graciously provided by the professional and friendly staff here at DFW Audi, which has since been renamed back to its original namesake of Belargin Audi after owner Bobby Belargin, but still retains DFW Audi as its signature subtitle to its namesake. Either way you search it, DFW Audi is still located right here in the heart of Euless, Texas. And now, with all that being said, this is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the all-new A3, and this does entail a complete startup and overview of the engine, as well as a good look at many of the unique and notable styling cues and multiple all-new features, technologies, and creature comforts that now make up this completely rejuvenated version of Audi's smallest four-cylinder turbocharged variant to date. And so, bearing all this new information in mind, Let's go ahead and climb aboard and we'll check it out. To begin with, our particular fully loaded 2.0 turbo tester today wears the optional monsoon gray pearl exterior. Now before we continue any further, one additional feature of the A3 is something many people will actually like, especially us here in the DFW area with the triple digit summer days that we can get here in the Metroplex, and that is the addition of a small ventilation system built into the optional sunroof that is accessed through your Audi switchblade key. It's very simple, all you have to do is hold down the unlock button on your Audi switchblade key remote. Then you watch as the almost panoramic sunroof gently rises out of the roof line to allow for a little bit of ventilation on some of those hotter summer days, especially with our particular example's dark colored interior. Now unfortunately in this case you can't just do the reverse and simply hold down the lock button and expect the sunroof to retract back into the roof line. However, there is a way that you can actually close the sunroof without actually starting the vehicle and closing the sunroof yourself. You just simply stick the keyblade into the keyhole in the door turn and hold to the right to the lock position and hold for a few seconds. And as if by magic, the sunroof automatically folds back into the roof line as if nothing had ever happened. And beautifully accenting the depth of this monsoon gray metallic exterior, our particular A3's interior has been fully upholstered in the standard Audi black leather. Now, albeit the fact that this new A3 uses the standard Audi switchblade key fob as its source of ignition, you actually have to take a additional quote-unquote step to actually start this vehicle in the first place. You can insert the key fob into the ignition slot as normal and turn on the vehicle's power. When you do, the beautiful Audi Multimedia Telemetrics interface screen rises out of the dashboard. And you can see you get all the typical Audi dash lights as well. But if you try to turn the key without doing anything, you can see that the vehicle actually does not start at all. The additional step, if you will, is you actually have to depress the brake pedal in order to actually supply power to the vehicle. So once you put your foot on the brake, you can simply turn the key to fire up the engine. and instantly you supply power to that beautiful two liter turbocharged four cylinder power plant. 
Now with our particular tester being the upgraded Torque Split 4060 all-wheel drive system, the steering in the new A3 is surprisingly fluid, but does have a modest amount of feedback with that front differential, being that it does uh, have the Quattro all-wheel drive system as we mentioned just a second ago. The steering wheel sports a full three-spoke design with multiple accents of polished silver, your beautiful Audi four-ring design going across the middle, with slight accents of black piano veneer surrounding the silver portion and also on the upper edge of the airbag cover itself. Now so far the only available transmission for the all new A3 in both 1.8 liter turbo and 2 liter turbo versions is Audi's 6 speed S-Tronic dual clutch automatic transmission. Now of course being that VW and Audi use a lot of the same parts you get that traditional Audi chime when you try to put the car in gear with the door open. As you can see it tells us to shift into park and the chime does not go away until you close the door. The transmission also does have an available sport mode. You just pull the transmission back once. You can see the little S in the lower left hand corner of the display. Just pull it back again. That puts it in drive. Or if you wish to take control of the gears manually, just click the gear stick over, pull down to shift down a gear, and push forward to shift up. And all this is wrapped in a beautiful black piece of leather with slight accents of brushed aluminum and slight pieces of chrome with the beautiful S-Tronic badge right here on the back of the shifter. Now surprisingly, even with our vehicle having the upgraded Audi MMI system, it does not come with a reverse backup camera, nor reverse or front mounted parking assist sensors, as you can see. But standard on the A3 are electronic child protective safety locks, which will automatically lock the vehicle once the car detects motion when it's put into gear. Also standard, like a lot of out other Audis on the market, you have an electronic parking brake, so just keep your foot on the brake and pull up to set, and push forward to release. And it's as easy as that. Go ahead and pop the hood here. You actually have to open the door, my bad. It's another safety mechanism on these Audis. The door frame actually covers the hood latch, so it prevents it from being opened while the door is closed. Now all four windows on the all new A3 are fully automatic in both directions. Now much like the previous generation of the Audi A3, the new one comes with two standard power plants as your optional choices. The first of which is a standard 1.8 liter dual overhead cam, 16 valve, turbo fuel stratified direct injection, turbocharged and intercooled inline four cylinder engine which produces a rather healthy 170 horsepower and about 200 pound-feet of torque. But in this case, we have the upgraded powertrain in our favor. Our particular tester is sporting the all-new revised version of Audi's 2.0-liter dual-overhead cam, 16-valve, turbo-fuel stratified, direct-injected, turbocharged and intercooled inline four-cylinder engine. Now while this may seem like a rather not surprising power plant as it is used across a lot of the Audi lineup, what is surprising is this car's numbers. Sporting 220 horsepower and about 268 pound-feet of torque. That is a gain of 9 horsepower over the outgoing 2 liter model which had 211 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. 0 to 60 times are not officially announced yet as the A3 has just been reintroduced, but the fuel economy numbers have been, and it scores an average of 24 miles per gallon city and 33 miles per gallon on the interstate highway on required premium gas. Front wheel drive models will get a few more MPGs, but with, our being, with ours being the Quattro, we do have the more or less fuel efficient of the two. Also, as you can see in standard Audi fashion, upon the vehicle being started, the standard LED daytime running lights have automatically illuminated. These LED accents are now standard on just about every vehicle in the lineup. And now let's see about a couple of revs of that two liter turbo and see what kind of soundtrack she produces.
got a beautiful punchy accelerator. Doesn't take too much to introduce a little bit of petrol into the engine. Sounds absolutely wonderful. Absolutely no lag in the throttle and a beautiful racy engine note. But with all that being said, let's go in and turn on the headlights as well as the parking lights and the hazard lights as usual. And now let's take this opportunity to explore the all new exterior of the A3. Now with our particular tester being fully loaded out, almost to the point of being an Audi S3 with a few performance minor options on it, it is available with Bi-Xenon Auto Adjusting and Leveling High Intensity Discharge Projector Headlights. This particular one is not equipped with fog lights. Beautiful chrome ring Audi washboard style grill. The all-new A3 is definitely sporting a lot of Audi's signature features and design cues, as you can see on examples like these beautiful A6s over here. To most who have seen the all-new A3 already, both in concept and all-new design form, many may actually reminisce about Audi's recently released concept of the Audi UR Quattro. But in our particular case, you can still see that the A3 retains a lot of Audi's signature design cues, but still provides that ultimate level of luxury that Audi customers have come to expect. Now on our particular tester today, we're riding on the standard set of 17-inch star-designed five-spoke painted aluminum alloy wheels, riding on Continental Contipro tires measuring 225, 45, 17 all the way around. Beautiful swooping and curvaceous lines leading up to the tail of the vehicle. LED turn signal equipped external heated mirrors as part of this car's cold weather package. The cold weather package on this particular vehicle also includes the heated interior seats. As you saw in the beginning of the review, this particular vehicle also sports the near panoramic power tilting and sliding sunroof. We've got a shark fin style antenna for the XM satellite radio up top. Definitely tell you won't be opening that gas cap a whole lot with the mileage that this car gets. Now one of the beautiful characteristics of this A3 is actually the rear end of this car. Comparatively speaking in the luxury car market, the design of the rear end almost reminds me of that of the Kia Cadenza or the beautiful Lexus GS. It's hard to imagine for a car that costs less than $40,000 at the top end that you get such high amounts of luxury in such a small package. got a small rear lip style spoiler integrated into the deck lid. We've got dual aluminum tipped exhaust for this 2 liter model. Rear heated integrated defrosting glass. A 
But one thing that is kind of interesting on this particular vehicle is these small little indentions here on the uh, on the door handles. Albeit the fact the car uses the standard Audi switchblade key to unlock and lock the vehicle, you actually get these little bitty indentions almost like the vehicle has a smart key system, but yet it doesn't. Kind of a little confusing, but still kind of nice. This is definitely one sweet looking addition to the Audi lineup. Now by now many of you are already asking why did Audi choose a sedan format over the previous generation being available only in a hatchback? Well not everybody in the, use, in the new car market wants an Audi hatchback. Albeit the fact Audi just brought out the all road, the A3 still maintains a small four wheel drive turbocharged driver friendly package and still maintains again the high level of luxury that Audi customers have come to expect even in such a small package. But now that we've taken a good look around the exterior of the new A3, let's go ahead and take a look at the new interior. As stated previously, our particular tester is upgraded to the full Audi black leather. As also stated, this car does have the additional cold weather package in addition to this being the top level premium trim. Now as you would expect with a luxury vehicle of this caliber, you do get plentiful amounts of powered electronic amenities including power door locks, your power heated exterior mirrors, also your power mirrors, all four automatic windows, one touch in both directions, the rest of your power windows, your electronic window locks, and also your automatic headlights, power tilting and telescoping steering wheel, and a few other electronic creature comforts which you'll see here in a moment. You've got a multi-way power adjustable driver's seat with your recline, your distance, and also your multi-way lumbar. The door definitely closes with a soft but yet authoritative thunk. And once you step into the interior of the new A3, it's, the best way to, to describe it would actually be rather basic. Because like a lot of Audi's cars, you do get lots of luxury. But it doesn't look like you get very much in the way of electronic toys aside from the screen that almost in a Star Wars fashion rises up out of the dashboard. Down here you'll have your whole array of different buttons, including the button to raise and lower the screen. Also your sort of aircraft jet engine style air vents. These do tilt in multi-ways. And also your available traction control button. And underneath, you've got a single zone multifunction climate control system. Your fan speed is right here in the middle. Air conditioning recirculation. Front and rear defrost. Also, your multi stage heated seats. Again, as part of the cold weather package. And your temperature control knob over here to the right. You've also got your climate zone controls over here with multi way adjustment. Down below, you've got a 12 volt cigarette style power outlet. And then it all just rolls into the cup holders and your gear selector and various knobs down here. But one of the things that is a definite upgrade, especially in this all new A3, is the control panel for your Audi multimedia telemetrics interface. Instead of different buttons and things like that, they've pretty much eliminated a lot of the buttons and controls and switched instead to these little bitty tabs which allow you to alternate between the four main uses of the screen, including your navigation, telephone, radio, and available media. You have a single disc CD changer located right inside of the 
glove compartment here. And wouldn't you know it, we actually have a nice little bit of music for you guys to enjoy today. We can insert the CD into the drive. It's a little dark in there. Go ahead and turn it up a little bit. Your volume knob is right here, and also you can click it left and right to change tracks on the CD. This car has also been equipped with the Audi Concert surround sound stereo system. And you can also switch back to your radio, just click up on the right tab. You can also go to your telephone. And also your navigation button. And also you can use these four silver tabs on each side of the rather large quick click wheel to access the different tabs, including your route. Just use the back button to get out of any screen. Active traffic. Vehicle settings. And also enter in a destination. You've also got a vehicle menu. Allows you to access via the little click wheel into different various portions of the vehicle. And what's kind of funny is that you turn it to the left to actually turn the wheel to the right, and you turn it to the right to actually turn it to the left. Kind of awkward, but nevertheless, it still works just fine. And other than that, it leads right back to your electronic parking brake and your very small leather-bound center console with nice stitched padded leather up top. Now looking at the steering wheel and gauge cluster, it's actually not too difficult to understand, even being a luxurious Audi that it is. You also have your radio and control buttons here, your different page buttons, and vehicle functions. Right here you have your intelligent navigation and voice command, your emergency button, and radio volume button. Over here as you saw you have your automatic headlights and instrument dimming, and also your parking lights, high beams and also your variable cruise control. And I do stand corrected, it is not a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel, it is a manually adjustable one, but it is still telescoping and tilting. It's as simple as that. Now up top you've got your sunroof, and one funny thing about this is actually you can keep the shade closed, but you can still open the sunroof and the shade won't retract. So you can enjoy a little open air thrills, but still have this mesh wind guard in place to kind of keep the sun out. Or you can just rip it open and let in the full sunshine. It's an automatic one touch to close it. And there you go. Soft and yet simple. You've also got your reading interior lamps and other basic necessities. All around a definite beautiful package of the new A3, and definitely a welcomed addition to Audi's lineup. But now with all that being said, let's go and turn off the power, and there is no additional step to just turn it off, you just turn the key fob back. See it shuts down no problem and the screen retracts away. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the all new A3. Now being a small car and someone of my stature, you would expect me to not be able to fit into this thing. I'm about six foot one to six foot two inches tall now, and you would expect that with that footwell that I would not be able to fit. But thanks to Audi's ingenious idea to put the indentions in the back of the seat, even with the seat in my particular position, my knees can actually still fit comfortably and I can still fit my hand between my knee and the back of the driver's seat. Also, it's a little bit plushly wrapped in leather, but the back of the seat is the true plush portion of it. 
and the back of the seats also contain two net pockets. We've also got a nice center console that folds right out of the seat. Cup holders. Now these can be a bit fiddly at times, but they seem to go back just fine. And a little pass-through located right in the center of the seat. The trunk almost opens as if by power, but it's actually mechanical, which is quite cool, and reveals an extremely large amount of space for such a small car. You've got your padded, logoed floor mats. Along with this car and the optional cold weather, you have your logoed, hard weather, all weather floor mats. And also, as I may, may have mentioned before, the seats are 60-40 split fold, as you'll see here in a second. Also got the beautiful metallic silver painted accents here on the door. And to fold the seat down, it's a simple trigger right up here on the top. Just pull it forward. Make sure you retract the headrest all the way. And with a bit of assistance, you can get the seat to fold completely flat. Also, you can see the small little pass through on the rear of the seat. You can definitely hear the quality in this car. Just listen when we open the door. Hardly any noise at all, and you close it. Nice little soft but authoritative thunk. Now, along with all of your electronic creature comforts, the all-new A3 is still quite safe. You do have side impact and side curtain airbags, along with dual-stage front impact airbags for both the driver and passenger. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, in this modern day and age, the Bluetooth compatibility on your Audi MMI system is actually 4G LTE compatible now, as I was just reminded earlier by one of the friendly staff here at the Audi dealer. Now getting inside the passenger side is actually not too difficult. Again, I'm about six foot one and I have plentiful amounts of room to actually stretch out even with the seat in as close a position as it is. This one is a manually adjustable seat. You've got your manual ratchet or your height adjustment and your this little click wheel back here to allow for the recline of the seat. Got our Moroni sticker here, let you take a quick look at it. Sweetness. Leave it back up there. Your beautiful Quattro badge in the dashboard, along with more of the painted silver. And like you just saw just a second ago, the glove box is lined with felt, and it is actually damped. It does fall nice and silent, and allows for plentiful amounts of storage in the back. Along with both SD cards for both your navigation, and as you saw earlier, your CD. All around, yet another beautiful example of a prime German luxury vehicle. So viewers, I hope you've enjoyed this rather extended look at the all-new 2015 Audi A3 2.0 Turbo Quattro. These vehicles are just now starting to land as they've only been released within the past month. So if you want to get your hands on one and wish to contact DFW Audi or Belargen Audi in this case, please feel free to contact them at dfwaudi.com or come visit their showroom off of Interstate 183 in Euless, Texas. Until then, viewers, hope you had a great time, and I will see you guys later.